As you can see, we are ready now, and Therese is going to come pick us up, and we're going to be heading to Calabaca to go see some of the monasteries there up in the mountains. Now we're going to head downstairs. We're actually going to head uh, down to the private garage that we have because Ben wants the stretches back as always. And then we're going to head outside and wait for Therese to come pick us up. Okay guys, we're almost up there to the Madeira, there, that's where we're heading, the monastery's on top of one of those. Here are the 355 steps. We go down from here. And then it starts from all the way down, and then you have to go up to the monastery. interesting actually to get into the monastery if you're a Greek you don't have to pay so we got in here for free Here is a glass that has wine, and then on this platter they usually serve bread. Okay, so in the monastery or in that building at least, no pictures or videos are allowed, so no photos, no videos.
here in the gift shop of the monastery and there are these little essential like cream jars and they all have a different purpose like this one is rosemary lemon and mint and it's for insect bites and itching then the, the lavender is for like wound healing and then these are anti inflor anti Florentary, these are chamomile. Balsam oil, they say that this is great for healing injuries. The monastery that we're gonna go drive to right now. Over there is where we were a few minutes ago, and the other monastery is over there. Here's the car, so we're gonna head here and start driving. It's the holy bread that we just got from the monastery. They were just giving them out. Just the bread. There's some more cats over here, and Christina's trying to pet them. Here's the bridge. Before, we were right up there at the other one. So now here's the bridge, walking to this one. Over there you can see that's how they used to travel, with the ropes connecting over there. Here that the fog has cleared a little bit, you can see the second, or the third, small monastery over there. again the other monastery is gone but an interesting fact about this whole like mountainous valley here this used to be all ocean up covered till like about that line was all just water and you can tell not only just from how the valleys formed but from the rocks here that they use in building these all come from the bottom of the seafloor and then they're packed like this and once they dry they turn into like a thick stone so that's how they formed here. So we're walking out here from the church we found. We have here a lotus tree. And this is our first time seeing one. They're not ready yet. Usually these smell like a bright orange once they're ready. So these aren't ripe yet at all. But it's pretty interesting because it was our first time ever seeing one.
το 1970 τους, ο Γιάμα πήγαινε πάνω εδώ στα βουνά απέναντι, έτσι ήταν το μήνα. Guys, it's about to close now, so we're heading back out and we're gonna head over to the third one. It's right over there. Αλλά είναι τσιάκι, να And there is Baba. are at the third monastery and if you can see on this mountain here there are the caves that the monks would go to if they would want to be closer to Christ <laughs> so Christina here just got these two necklaces one is for her grandma and one is for her mother and she went over there to go pay for it but he actually gave them to her for free, so that was very nice of him. What is that? And here I just noticed that there are some olive trees, so those are pretty interesting. We just stopped at this street side taverna. And we're going to ask if they have homemade meridiano salata and if they have lamb or beef. For another, they didn't have anything that we were looking for, so we're going to move on to the next one. Got the Vlita greens and the Daziki from Yatiki or Village Salad. Guys, let's try the Daziki here. So far, I don't taste any garlic at all. Let me try another one. I can't even taste any garlic. It's almost like they didn't add any garlic to this. They didn't taste it very fine. It's kind of nice about garlic. That might be because this is a more touristy area and tourists tend to not like the garlic too much. So here all the food came. This is braised beef with potatoes that were made in the oven. This is a Greek salad. That's a little bit of the blita that were left. This is some lamb with lemon juice on it. And he has some suzukakia, which is just ground beef with some bread inside. So let's taste. First I can get some blita. Very good. This place serves some warm, freshly boiled. And the taste of these are pretty much up to you because you add the salt and the lemon juice. Now we can try a bit of this braised beef. Let's see. Pretty tender. As you can see here. 
perfect. A little bit heavy on the salt, but it might just be me because everything I taste seems to be a bit salty. Yeah. That's so here is like the this. lemon braised lamb, let's see. It's delicious. Mm. Very tender. The salting is perfect. That's good. supposed to heal your wounds and rashes and stuff like that and then this is some just bar soap made from olives so that's all we have that and then afterwards we also showed you guys these these are the little essential oil creams or wax creams here we got the rosemary lemon and mint ones because those ones smell the best and there also it says here for insect spice rashes and itches so we'll test that out next time to see if it works for like mosquito bites and then on our way back last for here we just got some grapes here. moscato moscato yeah these are the ones Pepper loves i've seasoned them so i don't know why he likes them but he loves them so he's having some right now and you can see his amazing expression epic now I'm making some night milk as you guys know I always have for bed. Now I'm going to try some of this new wild flower honey that we just got. So as you can see, there's some crystallization here. It's kind of bubbly. Wow, it is thick. Oh, that is thick. So you can see the crystals in the honey. You can see how thick and crystallized it is. Wow. It has a dark, rich color. Time for the taste test. It's almost chewy. That's so weird. It's like a chewy honey. Like the crystals make it so thick that it's almost like not even a liquid anymore. It has just like a rich, deep flavor to it. Mmm. Mm. Interesting. As you can see right now, we're heading to bed. Um, Today we went to the monasteries as you guys saw and we got some great views some great pictures but the weather wasn't that nice like it was drizzling all day it was cold but the thing is that I don't understand is if today had such bad weather and there were still so many people there then on normal like nice sunny day how many people are going to be like packed into the monasteries I don't understand but anyways um, right now it's 12 so pretty pretty late as always. Um, today is September 8th, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.